Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to introduce the chairman of Wine Enthusiast Companies and editor and publisher of Wine Enthusiast Magazine, Adam Shrum. Okay. Wow, what a great crowd. Good evening, everyone. Uh, a very warm welcome. I guess saying warm is an oxymoron, uh, but uh, I mean the welcome is warm, chilly New York, but we're so delighted that everyone is here at our 11th. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your attention. Our 11th Wine Star Awards and to our really spectacular Big Apple, New York City. Today, we're all part of a vast global community where recognition of the positive, helpful, and civilizing aspects of wine are now widely accepted and acknowledged. Despite these last three years of economic turmoil, the wine business has started to regain its strong footing in 2010, and wine consumption in the United States has still continued its steady growth. Just the other day, I saw the Wine Market Council preview, and over the last 10 years, there's been unabated growth in wine consumption. So we're really in a great business. The fact that wine has held its own during this turbulent time speaks to the resilience of our business and, of course, the talented people in this room. To me, it's all about being inspired and about aspiring to greatness. We are inspired by leaders like tonight's man of the year, William Foley, who during a financial downturn has the courage, as well as the passion for wine, to think counterintuitively and invest in the positive future of our business. And a perfect example of aspiration, striving to achieve true greatness, is our Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Baron Eric de Rothschild, and the ultimate expression in the bottle, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, something we'll be drinking later tonight, if you're very lucky. <laughs> These people are what Wine Star Awards are all about, individuals who believe in their visions and persevere and flourish, sometimes against very difficult odds to achieve something extraordinary. Part of what makes wine unique is the way members of our industry have approached and marketed this fermented grape juice in a bottle, making it available to people at all socioeconomic levels. Consider, consider this for a moment, the phenomenal diversity in price points that we offer to consumers. Listen to this, this is very interesting. What other business allows people to enter a Trader Joe's in California and purchase its product for less than two bucks, while at the other time others can stride confidently into an auction in Hong Kong and purchase the same quantity, a mere 750 milliliters of wine for more than 232,000 US dollars. Now, I think that's astonishing, don't you? Really. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> that dichotomy in price, I think it's worth talking about too, I have to agree. <laughs> that dichotomy in price speaks to the dual importance of winemaking on the one hand and strategic business savvy on the other. Our Wine Star Award winners strive to achieve this special combination every single day. The successful people we honor here tonight have used their diverse skills to create, nurture, develop, and launch this unique product. And this is what we celebrate tonight during the Wine Star Awards, the unique talents and artistry of the people in this room who paint on the canvas of the world marketplace, and in doing so, you all enhance the lives of many by providing a civilizing beverage for people of any financial means to experience all around the world. And now I'd like to take a moment to honor some of our wine stars of the past. As I call your name, 
Please stand and remain standing. Josh Wesson. <laughs> David Kalb. <laughs> Harvey Chaplin. <laughs> Christina Mariani May. <laughs> Chris Indelicato. Jean-Charles Boisset. Bruce Hunter. Leonardo Lacasio. Ray Chadwick. Mel Dick. And representing her husband and a wine star in her own right, Margaret Mondavi. Please join me in honoring our wine stars of the past. Margaret. Speaking of stars, the wine world sadly lost a shining star with the passing of Ab Simon earlier this month. For almost 40 years, as the founding chairman of Chateau and Estates, Ab Simon was instrumental in making the wines of Bordeaux popular in America. Ab, you'll be very missed. <laughs> 